Nothing but static and then nothing but nothing. You weren't there. You were never there. I was. No, not when I tried. I mean, you said you would turn on your radio okay. every day at dawn. You said that you would turn on your radio I every did. day at dawn, and you were not there! Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just. Just kill me. You found me last year in my front yard, Morgan. You and. You found me. You fed me. You told me what's happening. You saved me. My name is Rick Grimes. You know me. Morgan does some incredibly detailed and subtle body language here, and I'm very impressed with how much he conveys from these micro expressions. He subtly tenses his upper lip, which is due to the incredibly high levels of stress he's going through. When we get stressed, our defense mechanism gets activated and the body prepares to encounter a physical threat. The muscles tense up and become stronger and more reactive, which causes twitching. Morgan briefly does this behavior, which shows that this is a micro expression. He quickly does it, but the moment his conscious re realizes this, he stops tensing up. Micro expressions are the best way to see our raw emotions, as the conscious isn't controlling and manipulating it. He also does what's called the globus sensation. He swallows here, which is again the effect of the high levels of stress on the body. The muscle tenses up, which causes the incredible urge to swallow, which is often referred to as a lump in the throat. Both of these bits of nonverbal communication indicate high levels of stress. It's really accurate and really realistic body language. I'm not wearing a dead man's face. I gave you this. I said I'd turn it on every day at dawn so you could find me. Rick? I know you. Oh man, damn it. I, I know you. I know who you are. He said you turn yours on at dawn. That's what you said. I mean, I hadn't worked up to it yet, and then I did. Morgan does what's called a distancing behavior here when he says Rick would turn on his radio at dawn. We do these behaviors when something specific causes us stress and our brain forces us to look away from it to distract ourselves from the stressor. Another speculated reason for this is also that eye contact is considered confrontational and when someone's causing you stress, staring at them may make the situation worse as you may come across as hostile. He looks away from Rick, likely because he feels abandoned by him and the memory of trying to communicate with with him but hearing nothing back fills him with huge amounts of stress. He can't bear to face Rick. He's also at the same time tensing his entire mouth, showing extreme levels of stress, especially when recalling Rick abandoning him. It's very clear that he's feeling so much pain because of the abandonment, and it's just amazing acting from Lenny James. On the roof, every morning for, for days, for weeks, me and my boy, <laughs> and then Me. Just static, though. Nothing but static, and then nothing but nothing. You weren't there. You were never there. I was. No, not when I tried. I mean, you said you would turn on your radio okay. every day at dawn. You said that you would turn on your radio I every did. day at dawn, and you were not there! Honestly, Lenny James is an insanely good actor. The amount of subtle but noticeable bits of body language here is insane. When he briefly recalls his boy, he smiles, but the rest of his face is tense. And then he very quickly does the globus sensation and distances when he continues on about how he went on alone after his son died. In the space of literally two seconds, he conveys happiness and joy when recalling his son to absolute despair and emotional distress. In literally seconds. Rick then pacifies when he realizes 
realizes his son died. He scratches his beard, which is a pacifying behavior. He's trying to distract himself from the stress. He feels in part guilty for this as he promised that he would be there for them. Rick then does a bunch of pacifying behaviors. He looks away constantly and he also exhales, which is a pacifying behavior. Clearly he's getting incredibly stressed when realizing the effects of leaving them behind. It's great acting from Andrew Lincoln. He also does a mouth tense after saying he was. You can clearly see him trying to hold back the immense feelings of guilt that he must be feeling. Now notice how when they raise their voices, they both look at the ground. This is probably the most interesting thing that I've ever seen in all of my reactions. When dogs from the same household or pack bark at each other, they typically look away when they're barking. This is a natural instinct and is them telling the other dog that they are not trying to be confrontational with each other. They both distance and look away when shouting at each other to tell the other person that they are not trying to be confrontational and threatening. The psychology behind this honestly fascinates me. I kept getting, I kept getting pushed further out. I had to, I didn't have a choice. I found my wife and my boy. I had people, I, I had to keep them safe. We kept getting pushed back deeper into the country. I, I swear to God, I didn't have a choice. You can have your radio back, because it looks like I finally found you. You found your wife and your son. That's what happened, right? You found them. After going through that heated discussion, Rick is naturally incredibly stressed and instantly after he paces around the room to pacify and vent that stress. This is considered the same as fidgeting. The brain needs a way to release that built up stress. It's why psychologists often tell people with anger management problems to punch a pillow or exercise to get the frustration out of their system. Venting stress is a vital function of the brain and as a body language analyst, we can observe these very real behaviors and reason backwards to determine what the person is feeling. Overall, this scene is probably the single most emotional scene in all of The Walking Dead. Two amazingly talented actors giving their best performances. To me, this is peak Walking Dead. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.